What's up guys, Tony here. Hope you're doing well. It is, it's Monday, November 20th. Um, I wanna cover today how you can leverage Google Trends, a free tool to look at the demand and the trend of uh, different cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Ripple XRP. But first, let's take a look at the market. I'm on coinmarketcap.com and Bitcoin actually today uh, surpassed 8,300. So obviously over the, the weekend, uh, it hit 8,000 and went to like around 8,100 and 8,200. Um, and it is up guys. Um, and let's take a look here at the peak number. Uh, I'm going to change this to the past day and I'm going to just go here to one of the peaks. Um, Let's see which one's the highest. Okay, so it hit $8,336. Insane. Uh, it just keeps going up. Um, I was expecting this to happen maybe in late December. Um, but wow, I, I it's kind of crazy. It makes me wonder if we're going to hit $10,000 before the end of the year. I'm actually expecting the $10,000 to happen in Q1 of 2018, maybe January, February. Um, and I definitely think Bitcoin can go up to fifteen, twenty thousand. 20000 um, by the end of 2018. Now note there are going to be corrections as been has been the trend for Bitcoin. Price goes up, then it's corrections, then it, it steadily goes back up. Um, but it continues to grow, uh, it continues to get adoption, and um, I think great things are ahead. And overall for the market, everything is pretty much up, all the top coins. So Bitcoin obviously up, Ethereum is up significantly, um, it's at $370. I'm not even going to talk about Bitcoin Cash. That's uh, Bitcoin is the coin to hold. It's the OG, right? It's not going to get replaced by some fork or somebody trying to make money. Um, Ripple is actually up $0.24. Cents. Litecoin is up significantly at $72. I think recently because of the news between uh, atomic swaps between Bitcoin and Litecoin. Um, so I think, guys... You should probably get some Litecoin. I own some, but I think it's it's on its way up, especially with what just took place, where you can send, uh, kind of transfer your Bitcoin to Litecoin to for transactions. And Litecoin is obviously faster. Um, I don't think it's going to replace Bitcoin, but it's uh, Bitcoin is more of your store of value. Think of it as gold. Litecoin is more of your fiat currency, your dollar bills, your twenty dollar bills, where you can spend it. Um, so I think just my prediction. I'm not an expert or anything, but just my learnings and research, I think Litecoin is on its way up. So still pretty cheap to get in. Um, but yeah, that's everything looks pretty good in the market right now. Um, but let's jump into the topic of the video, uh, Google Trends. So you can essentially go to trends.google.com or you can use google.com slash trends, which will redirect you to this URL here. Um, and it's a free tool from Google. It essentially aggregates all the searches from folks who are using Google, right? So your data, my data, what we go and type on Google and search for, whether you're searching for cat videos or cryptocurrency or a bit uh, or cars or whatever it is you're searching for, it uh, gets logged by Google, and then they share that information um, on this site. It's free to use, and it's very insightful. A lot of marketers actually use this tool. Um, just to give you some background, I'm currently in the digital marketing space. I do search engine optimization and um, I leverage this tool for my clients in researching keywords and trends and, and things that they can stay on top of. Um, and it's also important for a business, you know, a business, regardless of what industry you're in, you can leverage tools like this to stay relevant, to see what's the emerging trend that you can probably, you know, get ahead of the curve on and, and grow your business. So essentially, you uh, let me load the home page here so you guys can see. Um, here's what the home page looks like. Google will show you the featured trends, what's hot right now, what people are searching for. So like North Korea and the United States, Trump administration, tw Thanksgiving 2017, Thanksgiving is coming up this week. Makes sense, right? And they'll, they'll, all the kind of the hot news going on, what people are searching for. So right here, you would type into the into the search bar, Bitcoin, and Google will, will return some results. They will also allow you to filter it by worldwide or by a certain region or country. So, uh, and you can also do the timeline past 12 months or, you know, going back years if you want. Um, 
you can specify a, a specific category. I kind of leave this open because it allows me to get a macro level view of what's happening and you get more insights that way. You can also filter it by web search, image search, news search, Google shopping, um, and YouTube search. YouTube search, pretty, pretty cool for those of you who are trying to get topics for videos. Um, but here you have the chart of the growth over time. So we're looking at the past 12 months here for Bitcoin and it shows here November 27th, um, 2016, all the way to, uh, let's see here, the specific date around November 18th. So obviously there's a, a lag in the data because Google needs to collect it. They need to cycle it and filter out duplication, things like that. So it's gonna be you know a bit behind as far as a couple days. Um, but as you can see guys, trending upwards. It's, this is on a scale of like 100. So it's, um, it's, it's looking at, you know, thousands of searches, millions of searches and Bitcoin is, is the, the interest in Bitcoin, the demand is growing, right? You have, um, the people who, who are more like tech savvy, who started out in Bitcoin and, um, then you had specific industries and, and, and like the tech industry who were started investing in, in, uh, Bitcoin. And then you had the common folk, folks who were just looking to invest a lot of millennials, folks who, um, who's you know were more inclined to join sites like coinbase and buy bitcoin and ethereum and so forth uh, but it's been on the on the rise bitcoin is on the rise and uh, you can also get a breakdown of the interest by region so which countries or regions are searching for bitcoin the most it's actually surprising it's not the us nigeria south africa bolivia ghana slovenia and some of these countries like nigeria ghana and so forth um you know they have bad economies, weak currency. So some of these folks are probably like, you know what, screw the, the current currency within the, that the government's providing. Let's get into something that's a better store of value. However, you can filter it. So if, let's say we want to look at the United States. I live in the United States. So I want to take here to get a look at the trend. And it's pretty similar, right? Um, and you get to see by state. You get a breakdown by state. Um, starting it. Surprisingly, Hawaii is number one, which is interesting. I did not expect that. California, definitely expecting Nevada, uh, New York, Washington, Hawaii is very surprising. So, and you also get related queries. So people are searching for the price of Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin USD, buy Bitcoin, USD to Bitcoin, so the conversion, Bitcoin value, um, very interesting data. And um, let's go to, I have some of these windows already open here, buy Bitcoin um, over the past, 12 months again, worldwide, it's been going up. And you will you can probably correlate some of these spikes here with when the price of Bitcoin jumped significantly um, to some of those uh, big peaks for the Bitcoin price. So very interesting data. I, I recommend you guys playing around with this. And um, you know, if you're new to cryptocurrency, I always recommend do your research, do your homework, spend some time, read what, read the white papers, understand what's happening in the space, do as, do as much homework as possible. This way you, you're making an informed decision when you choose to invest in Bitcoin or whatever it is and only invest what you're willing to lose. Um, don't put your life savings into these things because s same thing with stocks, right? Don't, don't <laughs> You don't wanna do that. So you wanna have a balance and, and be smart with your money. Um, so here, Ghana, Nigeria, Australia, Singapore, South Africa, and the related queries and related topics. So very interesting tool, a lot of great things that you can do with it. Um, and let's look at Ethereum. And uh, Ethereum, you know, had a spike uh, in the middle of the year because at that time, if you guys remember, um, Ethereum, Ethereum's price jumped. So you can actually um, mirror this probably with the, with the coin market cap graph and uh, it dropped off a bit. It dropped off a bit because it's not it doesn't have the same branding or momentum as bitcoin um and this is actually interesting kosovo uh, slovenia singapore um let's look at the united states here california washington new york colorado massachusetts so pretty interesting um ethereum and these others like litecoin are not going to have the same strength or demand or interest because um obviously they're up and coming some of these are um you know, they, they kind of have to go through the fire a bit. Bitcoin's been around a long time, guys, since 2009. Um, so as you can see, Litecoin trending upwards, but also a bit of drop off here and there. Um, 
uh, Slovenia, <laughs> Netherlands, Singapore, Czech, Czechia, Georgia. Um, let's see, Ripple XRP here. Uh, Ripple on the rise as well. Very interesting. Uh, Australia, Slovenia. Let's see, the United States made the top five. Um, let's see. Yeah, trending upwards in United States. Interesting. Again, Hawaii, California, Illinois made the top five. So pretty cool tool, right, guys? Um, I would recommend using it, leveraging it, get an idea um, of, of what's emerging in crypto. So if there's a new, let's say, currency. So let's say we randomly go on coin market cap here. Whoops, clicked on the wrong thing there. Um, if you go to randomly go to coin market cap here and let's say uh, we want to search for Monero, right? Maybe that's something you didn't hear about before. Let's go here and let's type in Monero and you can get an idea, you know, what's happening in the market for Monero and demand and interest has been up, right? People are searching for it. Um, I'm obviously specifically in United States, but if I do worldwide for the past 12 months, Let's see, also demand is up for it as well. Um, so you can kind of vet some of these coins um, that are lesser known um, and you know, part of doing your research, one, one, one item on your checklist. Um, so there you have it, Google Trends, awesome tool, free to use, very insightful data. You can get an idea of you know, what's going on, what are the common terms, what are people searching for, um, it could also be insightful, like, um, you know, if there's a problem with one of these coins or where it's something, you know, whatever it is, a business, whatever it is, um, sometimes you may see things come up like uh, business, the business's name plus lawsuit or scam or something like that, right? So it's a good way to get a pulse on what people are searching for and what's trending and what people are thinking about, what's, what's something that may be happening that you don't know about. Uh, we'd love to know what you guys think. Um, have you used Google Trends before? Please leave your comments in the comments section below. Uh, like and th um, thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for more videos on crypto.